We last left off with our little big dream leaving the parking lot of the Durham Marine Center in Twillingate, Newfoundland. Her sights were set on her new home at the Lewisport Marina in Lewisport, Newfoundland. The boat was on the road. We had no idea what the future would hold for us as boat owners, but we were hopeful, excited, and of course a little nervous. The boat was traveling on a flatbed truck driven by a local fellow by the name of Guy. The ride from Twillingate to Lewisport is about 90 kilometers, which took us just a little over an hour for the boat to reach her new home. Once we got her to Lewisport, the marina staff were there waiting with the boat lift. They got it off the flatbed truck and carefully lifted our little big dream and her cradle to her spot on land. We had a lot of work to do before we could put her in the water. We had to remove the decals off the boat. We had to continue with the cleaning on the inside. We had to meet with the rigging specialist. We had to put the motor on. We had to buff the boat and we also had to paint the boat. When we bought the boat, her name was Painted Green. Though it's a shout out to Newfoundland culture with the song Lukey's Boat is Painted Green. Lukey's Boat is Painted Green, the prettiest boat that you've ever seen. Ah, me boys, a real light day. We didn't feel that the name really suited the boat or was really for us. So we had to go at the stickers with the heat gun, putty knife, and of course the acetone. It came off pretty easily. The boat came with a lot of stuff. We felt it would be best to organize everything to familiarize ourselves with exactly what we have. We also felt that a lot of the boat just needed a good scrub. We're currently on the way to the marina in Lewisport because we got a call from our rigger saying that he was down there doing the measurements that he was going to do. So we were put in touch with a local fellow named Wilson to check out our rigging. He drove down, had a chat with us. We learned so much from meeting him. Thanks so much, Wilson, for coming and having a chat with us. Remember when I said, let us make the mistakes so you don't have to? Well, this is a perfect example. See, we had no idea that the Marine had a device to help boaters put their outboard motors on their boat. Our motor is a Yamaha 30 horsepower motor and probably weighs 180 pounds. We just thought we could lift it on and that's what we had to do. So one day Tia's dad and his wife came to visit us to see the boat and offered to help us put on the motor. It wasn't pretty but we got it done. But my god, this was an awful idea. In my opinion, the most important rule of boating is safety first. We were not being safe and therefore not acting as responsible boaters. From now on, we will make a veil of motor attaching technology provided by the Lewisport Marina. But man, listen to that grunt. So a grade 11 student of mine, Travis, has a lot of experience boating and working on boats. Travis offered to give us a hand with buffing our boat. He brought his buffer sanders and buffing cream, and we got to buffing out our little big dream. We're gonna finish buffing the side of the boat. We're gonna sand the spots where the logo came off, the old logo, and then we're gonna buff that. We're going to take off one more logo. We're gonna rub the acetone onto it to remove it. Then we're gonna sand that spot. We're gonna buff that, we're gonna buff it back. This job only took a few days, but we were really feeling more confident as boat owners. We're gonna prep the bottom for painting, which means we're gonna scrape uh, little flakies off with a paint scraper. Other than that, I think we're good to go the next couple days here in Lewisport, Newfoundland to uh, paint the bottom of it and get it dropped. The anti-fouling paint on the boat had worn off long ago and needed to be redone before we put her in the water. Anti-fouling paint helps stop growth on the bottom of your boat. With growth comes a loss of speed and potentially clogging necessary drains on the vessel. Without anti-fouling, the growth will be very difficult to clean off at the end of the season. We went with black Interlux anti-fouling paint purchased at Fairwater Marine in Lewisport. Just a short walk from where our boat is sitting. We felt that black paint would help our bootstraps stand out a little more. I like how it looks. He just finished painting the bottom of the boat. There's paint in my hair. 
looks like a brand new boat. Yeah. I'm uh, very happy with how it turned out. I'm very happy that we went with black instead of blue. I think it makes the blue bootstrap stand out even more in a good way. And I am, yeah, really looking forward to getting it in the water now. It's, it's getting more real with each, with each job we complete. Our next step is to put our little big dream in the water and get ourselves moving in our boat for the first time. Thanks for watching and please remember, let us make the mistakes so you don't have to. I'm tired. <laughs> I'm really tired. <laughs>